Hey guys, welcome back to part two of uh, our new Let's Play series featuring the world map update. When we last left off, we were about to head to a bigger city to sell some ember shards, and that's what we're going to do. I think the city we've been to, Burgerhove, is a pretty good place to sell it. If the city is too small, um, like Vistad, we won't be able to make a profit because prices tend to be lower in smaller cities. So we better head out to, over to a big city to sell them. On the way there, we will have a look out for some contracts. Maybe Vistad has a contract for us that we can take on and um, then practice some more fighting and of course gather some more coin. Let's have a look on Vistad. And uh, there is a contract available that we can take on. Um, you can see in the banner that this is a city contract or a settlement contract and it's not issued by a noble house. So in the beginning, as long as your renown is a bit lower, you will probably um, be mainly hired by settlements and not by noble houses. You can have a quick look at the factions and relations window. It's a new thing that we added. Um, you can see here are your renown. That's like your professional reputation and it will rise with a successfully completing contracts and uh, winning battles. And then you, this is your moral reputation. So if you do evil things, this will go down. And if you help people out, this will go up. This is a little bit about how people see you. And um, down here we have uh, the noble houses in this game. And um, we have the settlements. And only settlements are listed uh, where the, the relations are not neutral. So the relations to Blank was uh, um, increased because we helped them out with the contract. So they are now open to us. They will slowly decay over time. But as long as we keep helping them out with contracts, they will rise and eventually, the, eventually they will like us and give us better prices and so on. Of course, it goes the other way around as well. If you fail contracts for them, uh, they will start disliking you um, until a point where, we, where they may even send out the forces to attack you. Let's quickly wait up until it's morning because we want to go to the market to sell our stuff. And maybe we can hire another guy as well. Okay, let's head over here. And with the trading goods, you can see for much how much you bought them. So you always know if, if it's a good deal or not. And this is a very good one. We bought them for 247 and now we can sell them with, uh, for 311. And we're gonna do that. That was a pretty good deal. And before I bought these clubs and I didn't realize that I don't need them at all. Not very good investment. And let's hire another guy. Uh, what do we have here? They're all pretty expensive. This guy looks decent. He's a deserter. He doesn't have a very high morale, but he is a good, a good fighter, a decent fighter. Pretty expensive though. Anyways, buy that guy. Um, his equipment is decent. Maybe get a better hat. There you go. And um, this guy needs a new shield. I'm gonna. I prefer buying the bigger shields, the round shields. And there are none here. Maybe the armorer has one. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but what the hell? Gonna buy it. Okay, there you go. Get a new shield. The shield got smashed in the other fight, if you remember. And we have a level up. Um, Wilderich the Ox does have a level up. Um, <clears throat> with this two-handed weapon he's very vulnerable so I want to increase his defense and first thing I'm going to do is give him the battle forged perk that will uh, decrease the damage his armor takes by 20% increases melee skill you can um, select three stats on on, um, on level up and then increases fatigue it's always very handy and then it increases melee defense there you go Okay, now we're gonna head back to Vistad and have a look at that contract. So in the beginning the contracts um, mostly uh, are like um, uh, destroying a bandit hideout or something along that lines. And um, we will have a look what Vistad is in need of. So let's have a look, quick look over here. You enter Vistad and the man immediately approaches, uh, trundling through the mud to get to you. He announces himself as someone in the employ of Otto the Treasurer, a man of some power in this town. And he, along with the thoughts and, and monies of others, have decided to seek your services. The Treasurer, that sounds good. 
Otto the treasurer sighs uh, as if he's tired of all these troubles, as though he's about to start a conversation he's already had many times before. Ulrich, a man of some import here, states that bandits made a pass on his daughters. Now he's worried that they'll do, do what well they do the next time. Luckily, that man is of some wealth and could easily track these bandits down. If I were to pay you a decent sum, how earnestly could you drive one of them swords of yours to do a bandit or two? That sounds just like my thing, let's talk money. Here's a new thing that we added, it's called negotiations. And with every contract giver you have the, the um, opportunity to increase your pay. And um, the higher your reputation is, the um, better uh, chances are that they will actually give you more money. Um, I think I want more on completion. And um, yeah, he's pretty tight-fisted, so now he says he doesn't want to pay uh, me any more money. And um, so I think I should accept this. You get a, a quick list of, um, of the contract. And off we go. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. I hope we can reach it before the sun sets. But I'm pretty positive. Uh, I hope it's not too rough of a fight. But uh, yeah, I think that we can handle a couple of bandits. Although the pay is really low. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to increase them in the uh, increase the pay through negotiations. Some thugs and a few bandit raiders. That sounds pretty rough. All right, it's seven of them against seven of us. Now we have a really bad position over here, and what I will do is I'm gonna try and set up down here on 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 this little hill. And I hope I can keep the high ground, because um, fighting from the low ground is, is a very, very hard thing to do. And you will probably get slaughtered if you try to do that. The high ground gives you an um, increase in your chance to hit, and the enemy a, a, um, a decrease of his chance to hit. So high ground is very important in these fights. And if you have the possibility to do so, you should always try and do it. Okay, we're gonna stick Kurt down here. Try to, to protect the flank. You move over here, on top of the hill. Torkel standing on the back. And you need to move down here. So let's see what they are going to do. I could try and let some arrows fly. 42% is not too bad, and one of them hit. Great stuff. We're gonna wait for them what they are about to do. And then maybe we can effectively fight back. Okay, they're all moving in. I think Kurt is going to be in a pretty tight spot with all the guys surrounding him. Let's wait. Maybe someone's moving here as well. No, they're not. Okay, so Gernot is in a little bit of a dead spot right now. But I'm gonna try and cycle him around the back. Maybe that's gonna work. Let's move up with Walter and focus on this guy. And the more people attack a single enemy, the better your chances to hit will be. Oh, come on, that was 71%. That was not a very good thing. Oh, well done. That was a hit to the head uh, with the pitchfork. It's devastating in the beginning of the game. Let's try to land a couple of hits on this guy. Well done. And I should move up. Throw a, throw a punch over here. <clears throat> now Torkel is in a really tight spot. And I hope he doesn't get overwhelmed. Okay, let's see if we have... We don't have any clear lines of shot, of, of um, fire, but we're gonna fire at the back row over here. It's not happening. Oh, wow, he's, he's a really good, good fighter. Okay, move up. And wait. He's in the tight spot. Now here you can see that there's a minus height, height advantage. At least I hit him once. Oh, I think he's going down before we can do anything. Unfortunately, no hit over here. Well done, that was two decent hits. And get the shield wall up. Oh, 
want the shield wall up. That was an okay hit. And we're gonna try again. Well done. The pike is, is doing it, it is doing a lot of work here. I think Torque is a goner. Yeah, and down he goes. Okay, now we really have to focus. We have a spear over here. And try and stab this guy. No. Now they have the high ground again, that's that's bad. Try to hit him at 66%, that was a decent hit. Let's try for some sh short range shots. Luckily he missed. Well done, that was a good decent hit. Try to keep the shield wall up for defense purposes. Now, uh, Wildrich has a 71, I can take that. I'm pretty unlucky so far. That was a nice one. Let's move it back a little bit. Let's try to stab this guy. Well done. Oh, that doesn't look too good. He doesn't, he just has like, uh, okay, four hit points. So one hit and he's dead. Now, hopefully Gamut can finish this guy and he can. Well done. Oh, that was a hit to the head. It's not a very good thing to happen. Um, I'm gonna, gonna shoot. Yeah, this is really risky. I can kill my own guy, but I really have to take risks right now. Oh, well done. That was an amazing shot. That was really good. I really needed that to happen. And he's li unfortunately, he's completely fatigued and cannot do anything at all. I'm gonna move him up like this. I have to smash the shield of the raider because with the shield he... Oh, and down he goes. That was my favorite character. You pig. That was nasty. Well done. Scored a hit. I'm gonna try to finish this guy off first. And he's doing a repost. It's not a good thing. I'm gonna shoot at you. Didn't hit anything. Okay, destroy the shield. The shield has to go. Let's have a look. 47%, 42. I need that guy to be gone. Didn't hit him. Maybe I can finish him with Kurt. Unfortunately not. Oh, he's, he's doing work over here. Well done. Down he goes. Okay, what now? Short range shot, missed. This guy is really dangerous. He's, he has a very dangerous weapon. You can see he has a big, big club. And he's, he's pretty well armed. And I keep missing him for some reason. <laughs> that, was, that was some 50%. Oh, he's bad. Yes. Some 50% hits that missed. That's very unfortunate. Start stabbing him with the spear. Now this turns out to be a little bit like the first fight that we had with uh, with Hoggard and the first company. Let's try to battle him down. Wow, double miss. That was very important for me right now. I did a double miss as well. Okay, so it looks like he's out of arrows. The good Ulfert. I will move up here, pick up a spear from the ground from some guy who got killed and then try to stab him in the face with it. Well done, I needed that to hit. Oh, um, Kurt, uh, uh, Kurt was uh, fighting so hard and uh, did so many hits that his weapon broke. And uh, I don't have a secondary weapon. I didn't realize that in time. Damn. Anyways, what can I do? What can I do? I'm gonna wait right now. Ulfred with his newly acquired spear and he killed him. Well done. Wow, I lost a lot of guys. But um, these bandit raiders, especially in the beginning, are really, really rough. Uh, but look at the loot. So what did I find? I find found a good armor, decent armor. These weapons, are some of them are from my own guys. Um, 250 crowns, that's, that's pretty decent. A lot of tools and supplies and um, Really decent loot over here. We have some furs, 
they're really valuable. If we sell them in the big city, that's going to give us a lot of money and some silverware, and that's worth a lot as well. So we lost three guys, but I'm not devastated. I mean, I really like them, but um, in Battle Brothers, ten, um, you know, life is rather short, and um, most of your guys won't live uh, even through a week. So um, I think we did okay. Let's have a look at uh, who actually has survived. Is there anybody? Uh, this uh, Kurt the Night Slayer, he's from the original Battle Brothers. And Ulfred as well. So, yeah, why not? <laughs> they did okay. And um, Gernot is uh, still alive. And uh, Hermann. I'm, I'm really sad about the wild man. Um, but um, we will get new guys in time. Let's cash in. As you finish your report out of the treasure, or wipes his forehead with a handkerchief. Really, they're all dead then? Boy, you have no idea how much you, you've lifted off my shoulders, Selsov. No idea at all. Your crowns as promised. He sets a satchel on his desk and you quickly take it. 330 crowns are there as promised. Crowns well deserved. Okay, um, we're just going to quickly skip this little event because I want to finish the episode here. Now, um, this was our real fir first real contract and we took a, a, a really rough beating and uh, if we continue to uh, mercenary like that we're not going to make it very far in the game but um, when we sell all the loot that we got on that contract we'll be in a pretty decent shape to hire new men and then we're back in business. So. Um, in the next episode, I'm gonna look for a bigger city to sell my loot, get some new guys uh, on the payroll, and off we go um, to find new contracts. So, see you on the next part. Bye.